beaches, but that's probably not going to be happening, at least not uh, today, or east and into the mid-Atlantic region. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is joining us live now from Rehoboth Beach, one of my favorite places, but maybe not today, Mike. It is cold, it is gusty, and I understand you are layered up, my friend. I am Jackie. I've got two jackets and two layers underneath. I even have my thermals on. Temperatures in the mid 50s. We've got a wind chill. Uh, the wind coming northeast right off the Atlantic. Water temps are in the mid 60s, so they're not warm yet. They will be in another month or so. And we're gusting over 30 miles an hour. Sustained winds right now, 20 to 25. And look at the Atlantic. It's all churned up. I mean, it is just rough. It's dangerous. Rip currents will continue through tomorrow and Monday. Monday will be a better day, but boy, I tell you what, uh, it's hard to get three good days in a row for Memorial Day. I grew up in this area and it just seemed like that. But what we're going to have is the tide coming in. It's going to go over the berm and what we've seen with the astronomical high tides will have some pools of water setting up. High tide is still three and a half hours away. Yesterday was a much better day. Take you back to the boardwalk. We had some sunshine, temperatures in the low 70s. We still had a pretty good breeze off the water. There were folks on the beach and we found some folks in town for the weekend and we asked them what are you hoping for what are you looking forward to on this first big weekend of summer i think we won the lottery with today's weather hopefully the rain will hold off um yeah hopefully fingers crossed the rain won't come until later today and yeah enjoying it while we can and especially with covid last year i think this is the first big beach day of the year well, Sarah got her wish. The rain didn't really start here until around dinner time last night. It hasn't rained particularly hard. It's coming in in, you know, in, in batches. Take a look at the radar right now. You can see everything's coming up the front. The front is to our south. That's why the temperatures here are in the mid 50s, down in Norfolk, mid 70s. We're going to stay in the chilly air, the onshore flow, on and off bouts of rain through Sunday. Through Sunday, we've got the high tide uh, later this morning. Moderate coastal flooding potentially tonight's high tide. Uh, Delaware, part of the Jersey Coast. Also, the rip current risk. We'll talk to uh, Jeff Giles, the captain of the Beach Patrol, coming up at 8.30 this morning Eastern. But, Jackie, by Monday, all this crud will move out, and we'll have a pretty darn nice day Monday, albeit it's not going to be as warm as it should be, but sunshine in around 70 for Memorial Day. But, boy, this is about as this is about as rude as it gets in late May in <laughs> Delaware, Maryland, and New Jersey. My hands are actually numb right now. I could also, oh I could really use a pair of gloves. <laughs> I agree. Rude. Rude of Mother Nature. What happened to those 90s last weekend, Mike? Remember that? Oh, oh yes. goodness. I was here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. At least you had one good weekend out of it. All right, let's talk about some of the other in Washington, D.C., and even a few rumbles of thunder uh, towards the Delmarva. Well, the Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is on the beach in Rehoboth, Delaware this morning. And it's an open question as to whether he's actually enjoying conditions at the moment. Mike, normally I would say a bad day at the beach is better than, you know, a sunny day somewhere else. But today I'm not so sure. <laughs> right. What do you think? Well, this is uh, your quintessential bad day. I can't imagine it being any worse than this when it's in the mid 50s, rain, winds gusting over 30 uh, for the next couple of days. We're here at the famous Gus and Gus place. They've been here since 54. This building went through the 62 storm. And what I want you to notice here is the window is down. Let's come around the corner. Notice there's nobody on the boards this morning. We'll come around the corner and talk to George Giedis, who is one of the members of the Gus and Gus family. And George, it is so bad this morning, the seagulls have stayed home. They decided to stay home, I yes. mean, you've got boardwalk fries and bacon here. You'd think they would try to get in for breakfast. Tell us a little bit about how often this window stays down all day in the summer. It never stays down all day. Usually a thunderstorm will pass by and we'll close it, but it goes right back, back up. up. Yeah. And it's Memorial Day weekend. Last year was tough because of COVID, especially early on. What are your expectations for this summer, albeit the next couple of days are going to be pretty lousy? Well, this is not the ideal way to start off the summer, but expectations are it's going to be busy. People are, want to come out. They're pent up frustrations. They want to come out, enjoy the ocean, see the sights. Tell us about last weekend. Last weekend was bonkers. There's so many people. There was no mask mandate. Everybody was happy. It was just 
Great, great to see people. You told me it was like July 4th. Yes. And before Memorial Day. So obviously people are itching to get to the beach. Yes, they are. And tell me about your uh, perfect day for business here on the boardwalk in Rehoboth. Perfect day for business would be cloudy, breezy, nobody on the beach, on the boardwalk, shopping the sh no shop rain. The no rain, absolutely. No so rain. the problem today and tomorrow is this intermittent rain. Yes. People see the rain, they're not going to be here on the boardwalk. They'll probably be out in the uh, outlets shopping right, on the highway. Right. So, yeah, we just got to go off, go with the flow. But you were busy yesterday. I think it was a good day for yeah. Friday, yes. So we'll keep the window down today. You'll be on the side. You'll have some takeouts. And then hopefully, yeah, you'll have the whole summer ahead of you. Absolutely. And because I know you and um, your brother-in-law's George and Billy, when it hits 90 degrees and you're you know, slammed, you'll probably wish for a day like today. Absolutely. Okay. George, we'll thanks for, for joining us. Thank you, guys. Have a good summer. Okay, let's go back out here on the boardwalk. And you get a sense. Look at this. No joggers. We've seen a couple people go by. Let's come on out here and uh, take a look at the surf because this is the real story. These winds are cranking over 30 miles an hour. It's basically like a nor'easter without a low. We've got a front to our south, weak areas of low pressure going to ride up the front between now and tomorrow night, and that's going to keep this onshore flow in place. Plus, we have this big chilly high coming in. Temperatures on the Jersey Shore this morning are in the upper 40s, so it's going to stay chilly. And there's the surf. Rip current issues, yes, big issues with rip currents. Today, tomorrow, Monday will be the day where the sun comes back out here. And here are the lifeguards coming down the beach. Jackie and Reynolds, here they come. This is their first day of the season. And this is the 100th year of the Rehoboth Beach lifeguards. You can see them here on the other side of the fence. Come on out real quick, because I know Jackie and Reynolds want to see this. Oh, my. Now, now you know they are cold. They're doing their calisthenics, their push-ups, with just their beach gear on. We'll come back, more on this, and the big Green Egg Grill promotion soon, right here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, of course, often brings big crowds to the country's beaches, but that's probably not going to happen, at least not today, at a lot of the beaches along the Atlantic coast and the Northeast, as well as in the Mid-Atlantic regions. Meteorologist Mike Seidel joining us live now from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, um, to explain, Mike, it is windy, it is rainy, it is raw, and I understand you've had to put on a lot of layers today to get through this. Yes, <laughs> I've got four layers on, two jackets, two underneath. You know, I don't want to get wet and cold. It's in the mid-50s. The wind's gusted now 39 miles an hour, so that's pretty uh, hefty gust. But look at this. The Rehoboth Beach lifeguards are out here warming up this morning down the beach. This is their 100th year of guarding the beaches here in Rehoboth. They're going to ring a bell. The mayor's going to join them at 930, and then it's the whole season ahead of them. And, of course, the weather's going to get much, much better than this. This is about as raw as it gets in late May in the mid-Atlantic. And it's not, oh, here comes the water, and the tide is coming up. Look at the seafoam. And what's going to happen is the water's going to come here in this low spot, and we're going to get these tidal pools here in the next couple of hours. By the way, there were there are people in town, thousands in town. Yesterday they were enjoying much better weather on the boardwalk. We had some sunshine uh, until about 4 o'clock. It was in the low to mid-70s. There were people on the beach, even people in the water. Water temp 65 degrees. And Michaela, we, we met a nice lady named Michaela up on the boardwalk. Ask her uh, what her plans are. So my plans today, we actually just checked out of our hotel, but we will be walking the boardwalk, just enjoying the nice weather, and then just kind of going from there. The beach is amazing. Yesterday was beautiful. The sun was perfect, and it's really pretty right now, too. Well, she says she's checked out. Maybe she's watching the Weather Channel because the next couple of days, forget about it as far as good beach weather. Take a look at the radar. We've got this persistent light rain. We've had a heavier shower or two, but it's just going to come in, in dribs and drabs. It may stop for a while, then it comes back. All this is riding north of this uh, front, so we're in the cold air, northeast winds without a nor'easter. And look at the surf out here. These are uh, five, six, seven footers. They're going to stay up through tomorrow. Rip currents, a high risk. And we're going to come back, Jackie, at 8.30 and talk to Captain Jeff Giles of the Ocean, of, rather, the Rehoboth Beach Beach Patrol, and he'll tell us what they're planning to do this weekend as far as swimmers going in the water, like on Monday when the sun comes out. But you've got to 
you got to think the lifeguards here this morning are a bit chilly because of their swim gear and uh, no cover-ups. But they're going through the uh, motions this morning, doing some warm-ups, getting some more training before they hit the stands at 930 Eastern here in Rehoboth. Jackie? Oh, goodness. That is a hearty bunch <laughs> for sure there, Mike Seidel. Layered up, and you got the, the lifeguards, uh, entirely different story. But I bet there are a few people that get out there regardless of the weather and just going to provide a challenge for lifeguards working to protect families this holiday weekend. Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is on the beach in Delaware this morning. Home state, that's right, Mike, uh, where the beach patrol, they've been out despite the raw conditions. Now, Mike, I know you're freezing out there, but you're kind of dressed for the occasion. I guess there's lifeguards there, too, but <laughs> wearing substantially and significantly less, Mike. It's got to be cold. Yeah, they're, they're definitely cold. That's why they're removing. We're out here on the beach in Rehoboth, and basically from Virginia Beach all the way up the coast into New England, the weather this weekend is really going to be kind of uh, on the uh, gnarly side. In fact, in New England, it won't clear out till Tuesday. We've got the captain of the Rehoboth Beach Beach Patrol, Jeff Giles. Congratulations. First time I've shook a hand on camera since pre-COVID. <laughs> Welcome to Rehoboth Beach, and it's the 100th year this morning kicking off. Yes, it is. 100-year anniversary. Uh, the beach patrol so uh, it's pretty and it's coming in in a uh, different style than we wanted but it's perfect now tell us what the plans are for today because we got dangerous surf and rip currents the weather though will keep a lot of folks off the beach and out of the water what is your plan though we had some veteran guards go in the water uh, not for very long and uh, we're going to close the water down the beach will be open for people to walk on but we're going to keep people out of water today and what were they finding out there? The rip currents? Oh, Rips. Just look at this. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just a mess. It's coming out of that northeast, and you know what it's like. So it's it's just time. And tomorrow at this point, it's a wait and see, but the weather's not going to change much. Now, um, we again, yeah, we'll come in in the morning. We'll put some we'll put some guards in the water. We we uh, see how it's going, and then we make our determination. And we had the guards out here. We got some video of them out here uh, doing some warm ups this morning and getting some late minute training. How do they feel about being out here uh, with just their swim trunks on? They, Especially you've got a lot of rookies. We have rookies, and uh, this will be a uh, a day that they will remember. <laughs> so uh, they are right now. We're getting them warmed up. But then they'll be monitored in the beach to make sure nobody goes in the surf. So. As I said earlier, you get into July and August, they're probably going to wish for a day like today. Yes, yes. Rainy days are fun, but today is not a fun rainy day. And <laughs> the other issue is the beach. We're getting some erosion, and this high tide is still two hours away. It comes over the berm, and you told me earlier about the tidal pools it formed. Yeah, they've kept, uh, we've had some, uh, like the shacks that they put on the beach, the whole beach equipment. Um, we're keeping an eye on them because, it, you know, if it gets far enough up, hopefully it doesn't uh, take them away. Well, we'll hope for a great summer after last year uh, up and down the East Coast. No hurricanes, no tropical storms, and no more northeast winds more than 10 miles an hour. How about that? Is that I, ideal? I like it. I'm with okay, you. Thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks, Mike. Captain Jeff Giles, <laughs> the Rehoboth Beach Beach Patrol, starting their 100th year this morning. Reynolds are going to ring the bell with the mayor up at the uh, lifeguard shack at 930 Eastern. But as he said, toes in the water. That's it today. Water temp, by the way, Reynolds, 65 degrees for a lot of folks. They wouldn't go any farther than their toes or maybe their ankles. Friends, a day without Mike Seidel is a day that ain't worth living. Let me tell you. All right, Mike, thanks so much for that report. But unfortunately for many of us, this isn't going to be the best weekend to get into the out there. Mike Seidel shows us why. He's at Delaware's Rehoboth Beach. Mike. Good morning, Beth Capostel. And just think nor'easter without a big storm. We've got a cold front to our south. Little ripples of low pressure will ride up it through tomorrow night. So this is what we get. Winds have been gusting close to 40 miles an hour. Look at the Atlantic all churned up. Six, seven footers. We've got a moderate uh, risk of coastal flooding and high tide tonight. High tide coming in now. We've got about 90 minutes to high tide already. The water over the berm here in Rehoboth and filling up. We'll have some tidal pools. The thing about the beach today, we talked to Captain Jeff Giles earlier, and the beach is closed as far as going in the water. You can put your toes in the water. You can 
walk on the beach, but you cannot go in the water today. It's too dangerous with the surf and the rip currents, and that may be the case again tomorrow on the radar. Rain coming through, but it's mostly light rain. It's just kind of uh, pesky and annoying. The other issue is the temperature is only in the mid-50s, so we're running about 20 degrees below average. We will see some sun. There's your forecast. Monday is the best day by far of the entire weekend, uh, but today and tomorrow, Alex, it is just looking more like the day before a tropical storm, a nor'easter. Completely opposite down in the parking lot at the Weather Channel. What a gorgeous day. And nobody complains about temperatures 10 degrees below average on Memorial Day weekend in the south. No. No. no I am absolutely soaking this in. I think a lot of people are as the chill and the rain, you know what? It's not looking that great for those heading to the beach for the long holiday weekend. Mike Seidel joins us from the cold and windy Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Mike, you got the ski cap on, I can see. Yes, I've got four layers on. It's in the mid 50s. The wind is howling in from the northeast, and we've got high tide coming in at about an hour from now, 10:30 Eastern. And uh, look at this. I mean, it is just coming over the berm. The water's coming up and covering most of the beach. You can see how little beach there is at high tide. Now we just had a full moon, and the tides are actually higher, the astrono astronomical high tide. But these tidal pools form, and when the tide goes out, the water will sit here. And it's kind of fun to play in these when it. It's, you know, 85 on the beach and the sun is out. Not today. By the way, speaking of the beach, we talked to the captain earlier, Jeff Giles of the Beach Patrol here at Rehoboth Beach, kicking off their 100th year. And the beach today, you can come on the beach, but only toes in the water. And right now, I don't see one soul on the beach. There are a few folks up on the boardwalk. Yesterday, take a look. It was a whole different world here. Temperatures are about 15 to 20 degrees warmer. Uh, we still had the wind. The tide wasn't as high. It's this persistent wind pushing the water in. And we talked to Sarah Cripps. She was one of many enjoying the sunny weather on Friday. I think we won the lottery with today's weather. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, the rain won't come until later today. And yeah, enjoying it while we can. And especially with COVID last year, I think this is the first big beach day of the year. Everybody is so excited. In fact, uh, the business owners told me that last weekend was much like July 4th as far as how busy it was. They were slammed. Everybody's coming down from Baltimore, Washington, and Philadelphia to the Maryland, Delaware coast. And this kind of weather is going to be expected all the way up to the coast of Maine. Look at the tide coming in. Think, think nor'easter without a big storm. We've got little areas of low pressure uh, riding up the front. And that's why we're getting this persistent rain. It's not a, it really that heavy. It's just kind of persistent and annoying. Rainfall totals so far since late yesterday are running about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And you can see it's all running from the southwest to the northeast and that wind off the water. Water temp right now, by the way, it's nippy for most. Now, Memorial Day weekend is known as the unofficial start of summer. But unfortunately for many of us, this isn't going to be the best weekend to get into the out there. Mike Seidel shows us why, and he's at Delaware's Rehoboth Beach with a ski outfit on, I think, Mike, right? <laughs> Just about right there, Dr. Postel. I've got two jackets and two layers below this. And with the rain, I just didn't want to get cold and wet. It's in the mid-50s. It's going to be more than 20 degrees below average today. Tomorrow, we'll crack 60. But look at the water. Look at the Atlantic churned up. Think nor'easter or even a tropical storm without the storm. We've got a front to our south. The cold air is just riding down from the northeast. It's like cold air damming. And we've got little lows rippling along the front today, tonight, and tomorrow. So we're going to have the persistent on and off rainfall. The winds northeast gusting 35 to 40. And the tide's running much higher than average. In fact, at risk of moderate coastal flooding at high tide around midnight tonight for uh, the beaches here in Delaware and the South Jersey beaches. Then after that, the water will start to back off. A much better day on Monday. Look at the radar, what I'm talking about. There is not a lot of heavy rain out there. And right now we're getting a pretty nice break. There's still some rain coming down, but that has brought out some folks to the boardwalk and the sea seagulls have come out of hibernation. It was so bad this morning that the seagulls weren't even out. But boy, 
Tell you what, high tide is still 30 minutes away, and we've got these tidal pools. Now, when the tide goes out, this water will sit here, and in, you know, on a hot day in the summer, it's great just to kind of play in the pools. In fact, a lot of little kids also often do that. Now, earlier we showed you the lifeguards with just their bathing suits on, but they're now on duty, and they're bundled up. You staying warm? Sure. Trying, trying to. Are you both rookies? Okay, well, good luck. Alex, back to you in the sunshine and the barbecue in Atlanta. What a difference just down uh, down in Georgia. Yeah. Paul, or I mean, Mike, I guess that's like, um, you know, drawing the short straw in the Weather Channel world and being in the heart of the hurricane, <laughs> you're lifeguarding out there on a day like today. Man, hang in there. Uh, tell them a uh, great job, and uh, thanks for uh, keeping people safe this weekend. Uh so between the chill and the rain, it's not looking that good for those heading to the beach for the long holiday weekend. Mike Seidel joins us from cold and windy Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Mike. Good morning, Dutch and Postel. You got that right. The winds are gusting 30 to 35 miles an hour right now. The wind, There's actually kind of a wind chill out here down in the 40s. It's in the mid-50s. Hands were numb earlier, but the rain has eased off. So we've got some folks on the boardwalk, including one of the most important people in town, the mayor. Stan Kelly. Stan, thanks for joining us this morning here. Not the uh, way you want to start the summer, but there's a big change this summer versus last summer as we've gotten past, well past the peak of COVID. So you got to be happy about that. Oh, we are. You know, uh, COVID uh, shut us down pretty much last year. Uh, masks were mandatory. We even shut the uh, beach down and the boardwalk down in entirety. So we're, we're glad to get to this point. There's a big energy among uh, the town's folks and the visitors and uh, as well as our employees and staff that uh, we're ready to go, welcoming of everybody. And last weekend, I, I was talking to the gang at Gus and Gus. They said it was like July 4th. People just came out of the woodwork. Uh, I think uh, people have been ready to get out of their house. And the warmer it is, the drier it is, the more people that are coming. And what are your expectations for crowds this weekend? I know growing up here in recent years, typically you hear the number thrown around 75,000 coming into Rehoboth Beach. I think that's a good estimate. Uh, and and uh, obviously with the, the rains today, the a little uh, fewer people in town, but uh, there's still plenty to do. Yeah, you know, out on Route 1, uh, my wife knows uh, it's called the uh, <laughs> the outlets. <laughs> She's gone shopping. Well, you know, uh, you, you can see, look up and down the boardwalk, and you see there's still people here. Their spirits are, uh, are not dampened, uh, and there's plenty to do. You know, you've got the amusement park right down here mm -hmm. that's uh, partially roofed, and you've got arcades. Uh, you've got uh, people that want to uh, splurge, can get massages and pedicures and manicures, and, and there's a theater with uh, live actors uh, and uh, 150 retail stores they can go to and 150 some eateries of all kinds. Yeah, plenty of great. We had some great seafood food last night. I think it was the Big Fish. Great yeah, place. Yeah. We want to thank you for joining us. Thank and thank you. We hope for a tremendous summer here on the coast and a lot of folks coming down, just having a great time and uh, and uh, eating and, and just having a great time on the beach. Glad to have you here at the nation's summer capital. Thank you. Thank okay, you. we'll come back. We'll go back to Atlanta for the big cookout continues with Paul and Alex after a break. Evening. So Memorial Day weekend is known as the unofficial start of summer, but unfortunately for many of us, this isn't gonna be the best weekend to get into the out there. Mike Seidel shows us why. He's at Delaware's Rehoboth Beach. And like what Alex said, Mike, you're dressed up like you're going skiing. <laughs> I am. I mean, Memorial Day weekend, you know, maybe a tropical storm on the Gulf Coast, but not four layers. We've got a bit of a wind chill out here in the mid-40s. It's in the mid-50s. we got that persistent northeast wind that has piled the water up. Most of the beach is underwater. High tide was about 30 minutes ago. we got the sea foam. We've got these tidal pools. And look at the surf out here. Six, seven footers, dangerous surf, high risk of rip currents right on through today and tomorrow. In fact, officially, you can come on the beach, but the life cords will not let you get in past your toes. So not a great couple of days. Look at the radar right now and you can see we have some rain coming at us. But again, it's here and there. There's another blob coming across the Chesapeake Bay, parts of Wicomico, Dorchester County, heading southwest, northeast, north of the cold front. And we're going to have the same kind of pattern all the way through tomorrow and tomorrow night. On Monday, we expect it to break. Monday forecast up around 70 with some sunshine so that's the day that's the best day and even monday up in new england is still going to be 
kind of raw, cloudy, and windy. So it's going to be a, a tough weekend to get outdoors from here all the way up to the coast of uh, Maine as the system is a slow mover. Here's the boardwalk. Now that the rain has backed off, we have folks out here getting some ice cream, some burgers, getting uh, some exercise, just kind of coming out of their shell because this morning we had heavier rain and it was just not the kind of morning to be out here. So once the rain backs off, people do come out and uh, try to make the best of the holiday weekend. So Alex, Monday's the day to wait for. Today and tomorrow, more of the same from Maryland and Delaware right up the East Coast. Yes, a rough start. Thanks, Mike Seidel there in uh, Delaware here. Uh, there. Now, between the chill and the rain, it's not looking good for those heading to the beach for the long holiday weekend. Mike Seidel joins us from cold and windy Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Mike, stay warm, my friend. <laughs> You'd think it was uh, late March here. Temperatures in the mid 50s, the wind chill. We've got this northeast wind. Look at the surf out here. Now the tide is going out, but look what happened. It's leading behind these tidal pools, all the sea foam here, and the water is off limits. Let's bring in Captain Jeff Giles of the Rehoboth Beach Beach Patrol. Thanks for coming back. And what have we learned over the past several hours? I did have seen some folks trying to get in the water, even though it's cold and the weather is not. It's not made for beach weather. No, no. The uh, our guards are on the beach. They're monitoring. We want people to come onto the beach, but we have a uh, a small beach at this point. Um, but we're going to keep the people out. Um, you know, and, and some want to just come down. They come all the way down here and they want to get their toes wet. But that's about all they're going to get wet today. It's just a little too rough. Well, the rip currents. Yes. We've got the high risk at least through tomorrow. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have some issues on Monday, even though the wind, the onshore wind's going to back off. Yep. Yep. And what are you concerned about tomorrow? Same things. Same thing. I guess we're looking at the same rip currents. Um, and it's quite obvious. You could, you could just look at the ocean and it's just angry. So yeah, those are like six uh, to eight footers out yeah, there. Yeah, six to eight. And it's breaking right on the uh, sand. So. And, and what's the configuration of the coast here for folks who don't come to the uh, Delaware coast as far as the drop off here? It, you know, it does change because it, it pushes the sand up with right. storms like this and then it takes the uh, sand back mm -hmm. out. Right now, it's just pretty much hitting right on the sand. It's almost like it's running right onto a sandbar. Well, I remember growing up and summers in Ocean City, people would actually schedule their vacation for low tide at like 2 p.m. because you'd have this, all this, you know, 50, 60 yards out where the water would just, but now you don't see that because of the, I think a lot of that's due to the beach replenishment. Yeah, it does. And uh, actually our lifeguards will set the lifeguard stands up and they will change the lifeguard stands as the current goes. So. Yep. And congratulations, 100th year of guarding the beaches starting today. That's that's amazing. I, I didn't know they were guarding beaches back in 1921. 1921, doing the same thing as we're doing here today. There you go. The job never changes. Except you have one of these guys. I have this. This does help a little bit. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, Captain uh, Jeff Giles, Thank have you. a great season. Thank you. And as we talked about earlier, it uh, will be one of these days we'll look forward to in July and August to cool things. Yes, yes, we will. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Okay, we'll come back. We'll go back to the, the big cookout in Atlanta with Paul and Alex. Memorial Day weekend is, you know, the unofficial start of the summer. But unfortunately for many of us, this isn't the best weekend to get into the out there. Mike Seidel shows us why, and you can even look at him and guess why, because he's on the beach at Rehoboth <laughs> Beach in Delaware and dressed like it's winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dr. Postel, no shorts today on the beach. Boy, you need layers. I've got two jackets, two layers below that. It's in the mid-50s, bit of a chill in the mid-40s, northeast wind. Look at the Atlantic, thick, kind of like nor'easter, tropical storm, but we don't have a, a bona fide, big, strong low. We've got little areas of low pressure rippling up the cold front to our south. You get down to the tidewater, Virginia Beach, it's 20 plus degrees warmer. But up here, we're going to stay with this wind, gusting at times 35 to 40 miles an hour. Also, the fact that uh, we've got this ocean churned up today, the lifeguards say toes in the water, that's it. But look at the radar. We do have some more rain moving across the Rehoboth Beach, Lewis area right now here in Sussex County. Everything's moving generally west-southwest to east-northeast, the front to our south, and we're going to stay in this general pattern through today, tonight, and Sunday.
By Monday, though, the sun comes back out here on the beaches, and the temperature will be back up to 70. And this weather is not only impacting the Maryland Delaware coast, but all the way up to New England and up there on Cape Cod, Paul. It's going to be Tuesday after the holiday before they clear out. So about as bad as it gets on the beach in late May. I grew up here, and this is pretty rude and raw for almost uh, the first day of June. All right, thanks. Uh, Mike said Ellen, a very chilly, rainy, windy Rehoboth Beach, Delaware there. Uh, thanks, Mike. Well, back here in Atlanta, a little bit better weather.